Hi guys, John Common Sense Outdoors. Just did the video, video uh, napping an arrowhead out of a glass bottom, glass bottle bottom. I did put about 10 minutes more worth of work into it. Turned out a little better, still not perfect. But what I want to do right now is show you how to half this to an arrow shaft or if it was bigger, I actually made it a little smaller. If it was bigger and onto a, a, a branch for a spear type setup, the hafting would be the same either way. So I'm going to get behind the camera and show you what I got. I'm thinking you might be able to see against this dirt, okay? So what I've done, and this isn't an arrow shaft, it's just a branch I took off a, tree, a fir tree here. So, you know, not, not a great wood to be doing it out of anyway, but for demonstration purposes, I have carved a notch out of it that will accept the arrow point. Um, all I used was a little saw blade on my multi-tool. <clears throat> you can see it looks a little better than it did if you watched my previous video. Okay, so I've made the notch to where it accepts the, the point without having to force it in there and spread the, the two sides of wood apart. Um, in a survival scenario, if it's a long-term situation, something to that effect, uh, hopefully you come across a large enough critter to make a new, because that's what would work best in this situation. I'm going to show you with bank line today. What I'm going to do is hold the cordage along the shaft. I'm going to wrap not real tight at first there because if I pull real tight it's going to pull my point crooked. So I get around both sides and then I start to tighten up. Oops, not that way. Okay, let's get, there we go. Get a couple wraps there. Then we can start to put some more pressure on it. And by the way, I did take the rock and a braid around the dovetail and inside the notches. So hopefully the glass doesn't cut the cordage. So we're going to go around a couple of times. Try to do this to where you can see what I'm doing. We're going to go around a couple of times. We're going to come down underneath the dovetail. The bottom around once. Go back up around once. And then one and a half. Go down around the bottom give it a turn around the bottom back up to the top actually gonna get the cordage to go in front of my shaft once on each side Just wrapping it as tight as I can and then back to the bottom wrapping it as tight as I can Then I'm going to finish. Oops, sorry. I'm going to finish with a half hitch, and to do that with one hand, just twist your cordage until it makes that loop, and then slip that loop over. Slide it down to where you want it. and pull it tight. Work it back and forth. Make sure you got it nice and tight. And again, make a loop. Slide it across and down. Pull it tight. Now, survival situation. I'd probably, probably throw in one more of those. It's getting too short to do that, so we'll just go around it. survival situation 
I'm ready to cut that off. Um, and by the way, I forgot to mention I would have heat hardened the shaft before I did this. I would have made sure to, you don't want to harden it before you're cutting your notch out. But once your notch is cut out, heat harden that tip before you do this hafting. Then you haft it. Then the, the way to go would be to make a pine pitch glue or hide glue, whichever you can come up with. And I would just coat all this cordage that I just hafted that point on with, with a, with a glue. And then I would heat harden it again. Harden that glue onto it. But even without the glue, with only half hitches in there at the, at the end of our wrap, that point is in there solid. I wouldn't hesitate to use something like that. Alright guys, and like I said, this isn't an arrow shaft. It was just for demonstration. It's very crooked. The point the point turned out alright out alright, I think. Uh, you know, it would be usable. It's sharp. I cut myself a couple times finishing it up. A um, little harder to do the glass bottle bottom than it is say a flint or obsidian or a rock that'll that'll flake off much flatter with less concavity and convexity but it, it's possible it's not not that hard it's just time consuming so hope you like it that's how to haft it onto the shaft <clears throat> like comment subscribe thanks for watching thanks for your support more videos coming to you as soon as I can